Hello everyone. We have the following spreadsheet, uh, which is sales data. Let's create an ETL pipeline. Thus we could load uh, this data into Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, let's get started. For that purpose, we're going to use Microsoft Visual Studio. We need to use SSIS. Uh, we are going to do that with integration services. Let's create a project. Create. Let's create a data flow task. Okay. Now let's add source and destination. Source is going to be Excel. Because our file is Excel file. Now we are going to select this spreadsheet and do OK. Click OK. Now we are going to add destination. Destination is going to be SQL Server. Please look at here. We created, here we have my shop database. But this database is empty. We are going to load uh, the spreadsheets data into this MyShop database. My server name is Azure. We are going to load to MyShop. Okay. Then We're going to connect this to this. Let's take a look at errors. Uh, at first, we need to mention uh, the tab. Then we are going to check columns. OK, we see here our columns, OK. Click on OK. Now we are going to set settings uh, for SQL Server. Here we should mention table name because we don't have any table in this database. We are going to create new. Create table. Let's, let's rename this with sales. Sa sales. And I know that transaction ID should be integer. This is a primary key. Uh, transaction date, date, time. Uh, we can write just date. Payment card, bar chart, okay. Month, year, key. Month, year, key is going to be integer. Employee address, employee name we can write here, reduce this number and write 100. Payment card also, we can write 30, but we will normally have only 16 numbers. Employee address, customer, customer, this is customer name. Customer name, let's reduce to 50. Customer email, let's reduce uh, 50. 
customer address industry industry cannot be I uh, no, let's let's maybe 70 here product name product name let's write 50 for this product category let's write 50 for this product cost float okay price float quantity no quantity can be integer why i uh, changed this integer to integer because integer takes um less space because of that uh fraud no for fraud uh we have here only yes no um okay let's let's put 10 characters okay keep nulls mappings Everything looks good. Okay. Okay, now we don't have here any errors. This is not an error. Okay, let's start. Uh, we see that process is completed su uh, successfully. Uh, by the way, we might face with some errors like uh, with data types and we might need to do data conversion but because this is not a uh, educational video because of that I don't um, show the way how to resolve that just we have uh, completed process and that's fine now let's let's go and check if we have if we have this table we see we have here a new table, sales table. This looks good. Okay, thus we could create an ETL pipeline and load data from Excel file to Microsoft SQL Server. Now let's load more tables into my shop database. Uh, let's create a flow task. Okay, source assistant. We have Excel files and also we have CSVs. Let's take Excel files. Uh, it's in here. So first one is category. Okay, okay. Let's put it here. Let's add a destination. Destination is going to be a SQL server. But for this uh, table, uh, for this spreadsheet, we don't have uh, we don't have a table. Because of that, we are going to create a new table. Let's connect. Okay, so table name, we don't have a table for this. Uh, we are going to create a new table for this. Uh, okay, now let's uh, select the tab on Excel category ID. Okay, that looks good. For this, uh, now for this table, we don't have created an empty table. For that, now we create a table. Create table. This is going to be category. Category ID. Category ID should be integer. 
and this is also a primary key of course we can add keys after when we load the data but let's go ahead and add it here now category name let's put it 50 and status status uh, is showing is it active or no so let's put 30 for this mappings that's good okay let's add another source this is excel again okay this time we are going to add customer okay let's add the destination sql server new okay server name is user database is my shop okay let's add another source we also have one more spreadsheet uh, that's a CSV file let's add let me show also the way how we could add a CSV file uh, CSV file is not Excel so we choose flat file new okay let's browse that let's CSV open this looks good columns comma okay ah data rows to skip one okay we forgot about that oh, sorry header rows we should choose okay now let's add a destination destination is SQL server Azure oh, my shop okay now for this spreadsheet for this spreadsheet we should create a table this we can name uh, marketing expenses okay year for char month for char. now let's put integer because this is just a year for example uh, 2014 or etc for month also it's going to be integer because here are also uh, only number of month a month year key this is also integer and marketing this is marketing uh, this is marketing expense okay this is going to be integer this is going to be integer okay keep notes things okay looks good now let's start the process we see that the data from all spreadsheets has been loaded to our database let's refresh this let's go to tables we see now new tables let's open for example this one okay this looks good okay 
So we loaded all the necessary spreadsheets.